Welcome back, everybody, to TB Sports 27 here. Thanks for tuning in for an insane game. The Los Angeles Kiss and the Sacramento Redwoods are duking it out. We are at halftime, so we're getting ready for the second half. If you're tuning in on YouTube and you didn't see the first half, my goodness, we encourage you to go back and watch the first half. Maybe one of the most insane first halves in pro football playoff history. It is 35-28. There has been one incompletion, uh, actually technically two because there was an interception thrown, but there has been very few, and you look at the stats, I mean the completion percentage, the numbers, they all tell the story right there on the screen. The scoreboard tells the story, and the Sacramento Redwoods are going to get an opportunity here as they finally turn the ball over at the end of the first half, and we're going to see if they can come and tie this game now they've been playing catch up this whole time because the kiss started with the football in this ball game so they are going to attempt to come in here and and see if they can't sneak in and take the lead or get the score and take the lead or what have you so here we go autogram it's been a masterful i mean either quarterback autogram or terry bradshaw it has been a masterful first half so far to kick off. This is game one. And Chris Cooley, who has been near perfect in this game, comes up with a drop. So it's the first round. It's game one. It's the American Conference Wild Card game. It's the second half. So again, if you're just tuning in, if you're tuning in here live on Twitch and you want to see what happened in the first half, we're going to drop this stream on Patreon early and ad-free. We're streaming this one. It is August 1st. This one will not be released on YouTube until mid-October, two and a half months from now. So if you want to catch this stream early and ad-free, Patreon is the place to do it, or join us live on Twitch while we stream it. And if you want to catch the first half and you're watching this one on YouTube, you just check yesterday's video. It will be up yesterday. Autogram play fake. And he's going to go for Randy Moss. Did he catch that and get both feet down? Yes, he did. Randy Moss is ridiculous. So we talk about folks that are looking for their first pro football championship. That's Randy Moss. Randy Moss is untitled, never winning a pro football championship. One of the greatest to ever play the game. He has never won a pro football championship. He's got an opportunity here with the Sacramento Redwoods. But they got to be road warriors. The number six seed at 8-8 eight and eight, have to go to the distance. Now we know they're a capable team. This is an 8-2 and two squad with a very deceptive 8-8 eight and eight record. So they could easily get the job done as Javar Gaffney makes a catch. I think maybe one of his first catches of the game. And Otto Graham just continues to put the modern day quarterback to shame right now with what he's doing on the football field. I formation here on first down, and it is a play action fake wide open. Everybody bit on it. Five touchdown passes for Otto Graham here in Los Angeles. Second touchdown of the day for Randy Moss. We're seeing one of the greatest playoff games, one of the greatest offensive games in pro football history. If you're a fan of defense, this game's making you cringe a little bit. But if you're a fan of offense, this is the game for you. We saw our first signs of good defense at the end of the first half. It has not continued here in the second half. Jim Brown has had a very good game running the football, catching the football. He's been electric. And there's a big opening there. Jim Brown, though, he just stumbles a bit, which is the only thing that stopped his momentum. Bradshaw 
There's a flag as Allworth makes another grab. An illegal man downfield. Daryl Williams gets called. We talked about the LA Kiss, the one team in this game that of the teams where we borrowed the NFL uniforms and logos that aren't wearing an alternate uniform. Because it's the silver and black, it's classic. And part of the reason is Terry Bradshaw hooks up with Heinz Ward. Part of the reason is because we don't see the silver and black in franchise mode because this team moved and became the River Hogs of Portland. And so this was our way to bring back the silver and black, but also just because it's a cool look and it's perfect for the kiss, the silver and black. All worth. Tripped up and the kiss getting ready to respond. I'm going to check my settings after this to make sure my settings didn't get reset and were on easy. Have I always been playing on pro? I honestly don't remember. Someone drop a line and let me know. Because I know, like I said, I play on all pro as Bradshaw gets sacked. I play on all pro for franchise mode. This just seems really easy. More easy than normal. Well, there's a sack. The second and 17. It's a delayed handoff and it doesn't work. Calais Campbell in there. So third and long, and we may get our first defensive stop outside of that turnover, the interception that Dre Bly had. Wide open is all worth. I don't know what the Redwoods are celebrating for out there. Boy, it's going to come down to it. Who wants it most? Jim Brown, touchdown. touchdown. Either it's going to come down to time, like the first half came down to, or it's going to come down to who makes a mistake at the worst time. This is giving me flashbacks to the Dallas Cowboys-Denver Broncos game a couple of years ago, Tony Romo and Peyton Manning, where it came down to the loser of that game was the Cowboys because they made the last mistake. It was Romo that threw that interception with like two minutes left. That's what it's going to come down to. Neither running game has been over-the-top spectacular. It's just been both these quarterbacks. I mean, it hasn't been bad, but Saquon Barkley, you're going to see his numbers. I mean, that's nothing to write home about. But passing-wise, and at some point, too, if you're Sacramento, you can't keep trading blow for blow. Do you go for a two-point conversion and try to win this thing? Barkley picks up the first down. Now, unlike Jim Brown, Barkley's got a lot more runs to give. Jim Brown almost up over like 20 rushes so far in this game. Randy Moss breaking loose again. He's having a day. Boy, Otto Graham looking like Steve Young in Super Bowl 29 out there. Not much happening there. Saquon Barkley wrapped up, wrapped up by Greg Lloyd. Let's go. 70, Indy. 59, Mike the 59. Dallas and Chicago, that's going to be a good game. Oklahoma City and Toronto will be good. Toronto is another team. They racked up a quiet 10-win season because they were hovering at about 500 for most of the year. And the only reason they won their comp, they won their division, is because they were in a really weak, weak division. They were like 
seven or eight wins in, and they clinched. And with the injury to Lamar Jackson for most of the year, I think people weren't really paying attention to the Huskies, but they've put together a nice 10-win campaign. Saquon Barkley hits that spin move. This is your best look at what arena football looks like just on a 100-yard field, without question. Terry McDaniel with his seven tackles already. There's Kareem Hunt coming in. I think the first time today he's gotten the ball, and it is. It's been a lengthy drive for the Sacramento Redwoods. Now Luke Keekley comes in. Tackle made there, and it's third and one. Barkley just sneaks forward and gets the first down. Shakes off the tackle there. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. The scoring has not stopped. This game has not slowed down at all. 42-35. Kiss and the Redwoods. Going to work. And we enter the fourth quarter. So the question we've been waiting for, who's going to break first? We'll find out. Tried to sneak that one into Randy Moss. Terry McDaniel in there. And we got a third and goal, folks. Field goal will not help their cause unless they get some kind of turnover. This is pretty huge. This has been the biggest, one of the biggest moments of the LA Kiss defense here. You have the Dre Bly interception and Graham to Voight. Touchdown. Stuva White, ladies and gentlemen, with the score. So at this point in the game, you got to start thinking about... It's going to come down to the clock battle. And if your LA... Score as quickly as possible, try to get as many drives as possible. Or try to put a lengthy drive together and limit the number of drives for Sacramento. I think right now you're still at nine minutes. You keep doing what you're doing. You try to score as quickly as possible. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Terry Bradshaw getting some final instructions from John Gruden. And here we go for another LA Kiss possession. Almost a thousand yards total between the two teams Leroy Selman squashes Jim Brown Bradshaw takes this one from the gun pressure coming and Bradshaw and now all of a sudden it's the Redwood defense Ricky Jackson a linebacker sack. Boy, they brought the heat on that play. And Bradshaw, you see, tried to back out of it. Tried to release. And we have a third and long. And the biggest thing we've seen to a punt coming up on this play. Bradshaw again is ripped down. Marlon Humphrey. And this Redwood defense has given up 42 points. It was Humphrey. It was Jackson. It was Leroy Selman. Two sacks and a stop of Jim Brown. 
And not only do the Kiss go three and out, not only do the Kiss punt this one away, the Redwoods get the ball in really, really good field position here. Otto Graham already six touchdowns in this game. Looking for number seven. Well, I think the committee got it right. You might talk about controversy, whatever. Shouldn't have been Dublin, shouldn't have been New York. You put in a team coming on a six game losing streak. A rare drop from Randy Moss. This has been a show. This has been a game. And just based off of this game, the committee got it right. I don't know what to tell you. They got this one. Late handoff to Saquon Barkley. Keekly gets in there with the hit. And now the Redwoods. On one of their best possessions of the game, starting at midfield, are facing a three and out. And Morgan. Stanley Morgan. First down, Sacramento. Back to Barkley. Nice blocking right there. The Red Wind's trying to control the clock a little bit in this one. Barkley to the outside. Oh my goodness, breaking tackles, but Keekly ultimately. And Barkley, it looks like he pulled a hammy or something. So that means we're going to go to Kareem Hunt. For I would imagine the rest of the way. You see Barkley limping off here. Third down and two. They are in field goal range. There's big Leon Lett right there looking for another pro football championship. He's got a handful of them with the Cowboys. He wants another with Los Angeles. Quick pass from Otto Graham. It's Randy Moss. 423, six touchdowns for Otto Graham, if you had any doubt. A dislocated hip. Now, you're not getting much worse going with Kareem Hunt. I mean, that's if you have to go to a backup, that's the backup to go to. But my God, dislocated hip. Otto Graham on the move. No, it's batted away. Looking for Randy Moss. That was Joe Lavender of Lavender Town. Second and goal for the Redwoods. Touchdown number seven. No. Too much juice on that one. And it's third and goal. Javar Gaffney, oh my gosh, now it's decision time. You're two yards away. What do you guys do? And I want, if you're in the chat, let me know. Do you go for the touchdown or do you take the field goal? I almost say take, uh, I don't know. I say take the points, you, you take the lead. I think you take the lead in this one. Take the lead. Was that the right decision? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. You hope your defense can come up with another stop. They just had their best three downs a couple of minutes ago. Four forty. If you're LA, 
I think you go slow and steady right here like you did on the opening drive. You don't give Sacramento an extra possession. And if you're the Redwoods, you got to come out like you did in the first half. Or and not in the first half, on that last drive. You come out with plays like that. Marlon Humphrey again. He's getting pumped. Jim Brown's slowing down. That's That's been the big hurt. Jim Brown was the guy on that first drive for the LA Kiss. And, and him slowing down here. And again, Marlon Humphrey out of nowhere. Yeah, he's turned into Superman. The LA Kiss. What's happened all of a sudden? Can they afford to punt it again? It's third and 20. Bradshaw. Heaves it. Incomplete. Way over the head of Charlie Sanders. And on fourth and 20. You got to punt. You got to play defense. Six consecutive plays without a first down. After four. After six consecutive touchdowns. Six drives. Six touchdowns. And now six plays. No first downs. And now the Redwoods put this game away with a touchdown. They pull off the upset, the end of the six game losing streak. They send the LA Kiss home. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley look at their investment and Kareem Hunt breaks loose. And the Redwoods prove all the haters wrong. They prove all the doubters wrong. They make good on the committee's decision to put them in as the sixth seed. All that is riding on this thing. Luke Keekley, boy, they're, I mean, you, you see defensive guys getting fired up, but they're still getting run over. I mean, we're well over a 1,000 on both sides here combined. And we hit the two-minute warning. 45-42, so scoring has finally slowed down just a little bit, if you can believe that. I want to do a screen pass. Is that not an option? Oh, God. There we go. I figure this is the perfect place for a screen pass. Hurry up. Come on. I'm, oh, I'm hitting the button. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I, I took forever to look for it, and it didn't even work. I thought that was the perfect place to, to drop a screen pass in there. Clock now stops. There's another screen pass. Where were you a second ago? Screen pass gods. Otto Graham looking for number seven. And he walks right into a sack. Greg Lloyd gets him. Kiss take a timeout. Now they used a lot of time there before they took that timeout. Partially because I didn't realize where we were on the clock. Madden says play conservative. I'm not playing conservative. If you get a touchdown, you basically win the game here on this play. And I almost think we might pause it and take a moment to think about it. I think if they don't get it, you have to go for it. Because what good does a field goal do other than prevent overtime on a field goal from them? I think either way you go for the you go for the win, but let's talk about that after this play happens. Otto Graham to Randy Moss, and it's swatted away. That was Joe Lavender. So I still stand by it. Now it's fourth and long. I get that. 
But again, other than the fact that a field goal keeps it out of overtime, I think you go for the win right here. Because if L.A. goes down the field and scores a touchdown, it doesn't matter. Game over. Whether you kick the field goal or not. So fourth and 13, and we're going for it. Question the decision in the chat in the comments. It is tipped incomplete. So again, even if they kick the field goal and make it, the Kiss win with a touchdown. The Kiss can now tie it and send it to overtime. Pass deflected by Larry Wilson, and here comes Terry Bradshaw. How many times in his career has Mr. Bradshaw been in this position? A touchdown wins it for the kiss. Jim Brown somehow broke loose of that. Two timeouts for Los Angeles. Oh my God, what an ending, guys. This is the RXFL postseason game one. Four wild card games, four divisional games, two championship games, 11 games in total, plus the Legends Bowl, 12, but 11 playoff games. Bradshaw and company have finally been stuffed on the last couple of possessions. Terry Bradshaw to Sanders. And they just need to get into field goal range. Sacramento tried to get the win. They, they wanted the touchdown and the guaranteed victory. They didn't get it. And the kiss are in field goal range. And Heinz Ward goes out of bounds. One forty-seven for Heinz Ward in this game. And what a heartbreaker this would be for Sacramento. Play fake, Bradshaw. Touchdown, Golden Tate. No, they say no. Yes, touchdown. They do give it to him. Well, like we said, either way, if Sacramento had gone for the field goal, this still would have given the Kiss the lead. Sacramento tried to go for the guaranteed win. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Oh, Randy Moss is not happy. Randy Moss is not happy on the sideline. This would be the ultimate if Gostowski missed the extra point again. He won't. Well, the only thing that makes it is this now makes it where you have to get a touchdown versus a field goal would have given them the lead again. And again, you can question my decision making, whatever. Let me know in the comments. So it either would have been a one-point lead or the four-point lead that they have right now. But again, if you're the Redwoods, if they end up losing this game, what a heartbreaker that this ends up being when you look at those numbers and you look at the fact that they had two possessions like they just had on defense where the defense absolutely crushed the LA kiss and yet again they find themselves trailing like those were two of the best def defensive possessions in the game that they had Graham it's caught by Morgan timeout called This game does not slow down. Two timeouts still left for the Redwoods. The heartbreaker is they are in field goal range. It does them no good because they tried to go for the win. Looking for Cooley. It's knocked down and complete. 16 seconds left for Sacramento. Does Randy Moss get involved at all? Where's Moss at? You see Moss at the top of your screen. Blitz coming. Throw it up to Randy Moss. 
Moss catches it. Timeout called with 11 seconds to go. This is a game. This is one of the greatest playoff games in pro football history. One timeout. Sacramento trying to end a six-game losing streak. Touchdown, Randy Moss. Seven touchdowns. Moss was pumped up. He threw his helmet on the sideline. He got his guys into this. Otto Graham, seven. Seven touchdown passes. What is that, four of them? And now, now we got frustration on the other side. We got all worth throwing it. Terry Bradshaw doesn't know what's going on. One of the greatest pro football postseason games in history. And for all the controversy, it should have been Dublin. It should have been New York. The committee went with Sacramento on a six-game losing streak. They said one of the, the greatest collapses in pro football history from 8-2 eight and two to 8-8. Eight and eight. They got 52 points on the board about to send the kiss home. And with four seconds left, you almost think you should have just, I don't know, taken a, uh, a knee or, or, or taken, you know, a, a fair catch there. Save that time. Because you can't get into field goal range in four seconds. So it's pretty much a, a heaving and pray. I think you look for Heinz Ward on this one. Bradshaw. He's going to Allworth. It's... Oh, my God. It was nearly caught, and that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to an end. Subscribe, like, thumbs up. The total yards. Both teams averaging a first down a play. 52-49 your final. And the 12-4 and four Los Angeles Kiss are defeated. Randy Moss finishing with 221. Otto Graham, seven touchdowns. We saw 10 touchdown passes. 499 to Terry Bradshaw's 454. Three touchdowns, 221 for Randy Moss. Heinz Ward, 147. Chris Cooley had two touchdowns. One of the greats. And I got to check to see if my settings got reset. <laughs> if the interceptions are low, they didn't. I've always been playing on this mode. But that was an insane offensive game. Now, didn't, didn't the last time we play this, it was a blowout, right? I'm going to look at the, uh, I'm going to look at the standings real quick. Or not the standings, but the, the schedule. I need a breather after that. Oh, goodness. So there you see it in the West. The Lancers are in. The Kiss are out. So the West champs eliminated by the Redwoods. Okay, let me look at my sliders just to make sure. Did, did something just get reset? Because that seemed like... It, no, look at this. All my sliders are the same. And you see, yeah, I have the, I have the stuff boosted. So this is what it's always been. Accuracy way down. Power because they were dropping short. Yeah. Yeah, dummy. And there you see interception. So nothing got reset. That was just an insane game offensively. Let's look at the schedule. Let's look at this Redwoods schedule. 
and you can see this team, man. They started off 0-2, and, and then they just rattled off the wins, beating Dublin. They beat Atlanta. They beat Oklahoma City, took the bye week. They beat the division champ Mutiny. Now, these are all close wins, mind you. They blew out the Elks, beat the Egyptians. I mean, look at, look at this, a team of streaks. And if they're streaking again, they're going to the championship. But they won eight in a row and then lost six in a row. So here's the game where they blew out the LA Kiss. And that was the game I'm pretty sure we streamed with you guys. And then did we, did we stream the week 15 game? Let me look. Let me look at the uh, playlist real quick. Because I want to say, I want to say every one of these games we, we streamed with you. Let me look at my playlist. I'm looking at my phone. I guess I could pull it up on the computer. Because I am uh, capture carding it up right now. Week 15, we did Redwoods Huskies. Yeah, we did. We did do the kiss right there. First place in the West on the line. Yeah, so we did both games between the Redwoods and the kiss. All three of them, actually, between the Redwoods and the kiss. So go check them out in the archives. If you thought that was good, you got one blowout and you got another close one in the archives. But here's where the losing streak started. It was Thanksgiving. The loss to the Elks. Then they got beat by the Monarchs. They got beat by the Shamrocks. And that was the Shamrocks claim to get into the postseason. The head-to-head -head right there. They lost to the Kiss. Lost to the Huskies. And they lost to North Florida before finally breaking it in that insane game. Here was another shootout. I mean, Otto Graham. I know Mike Vick got the MVP. Otto Graham's been amazing here in this league so far. Good night. I guess that's what the committee looked at. Because when you look at the three teams, they have a claim right there Do the Shamrocks. But based on the statistics, the Celtics have the better statistics. The Celtic Tigers, I said the Celtics. But they probably went with them because of the head-to-head -head win right there. That probably gave the committee the nod. And on to the second round. So, with that being said, on to the second round. Since they are the sixth seed, we can look at it here. And it's going to be the Austin Armadillos and the Redwoods in the second round. So that would mean whoever wins between the, the Huskies and the Lancers will go on to play London in the divisional round. Wow. I don't know. What else do we look at here? We know Saquon Barkley. He's done, Yun Rings. He is out. Yeah, he's done. So he's going to miss the rest of the postseason here. I don't even want to end this thing. This has just been such a good game. But I think we looked at everything. We looked at stats. We looked at the standings. We're looking at X factors here. I didn't know if they gave any of the legends an X factor. I don't think so. Wow. Well, there you go, guys. Follow along with us. Come back for more. Come back for more RXFL, will you? So the Redwoods move on. The Redwoods get the Armadillos next. Now, the next time we stream with you guys, it's going to be another good one. It's going to be the Chicago Wolverines and the Dallas Desperados. Chicago is another team. They started off 9-0. and So you got the wild card team in Chicago. You got the division champs in Dallas. That's streaming next. That's a Sunday afternoon. I like that better anyway. I like doing... 
early in afternoon and then wrapping it up with the prime time Mexico City and Tampa. Anyway, insane game, insane stats. That's going to do it. RXFL. This one's early and ad free on Patreon and Twitch. Well, it's early and ad free on Patreon. It's early on Twitch. Subscribe, check us out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Wow, what a game.